Watch this. Some of you here at BOLC, that's why you frustrate the devil so much. That's why he don't like you. He don't like you because you won't let him get what he's after. Come on, somebody. You won't let him get what he's after. That's what frustrates him with Job. That's what frustrated him with Job. He took his assets. He took his resources. He affected his, his, he affected his relationship. He affected his health. He, the devil, kept being, kept, kept being frustrated because he wasn't after his assets. He wasn't after his resources. Job's resources. He wasn't after Job's relationships. He wasn't after Job's health. He was after his commitment to God. Ain't nobody going to shout with me today. Mm. He was after his commitment to God. The devil told God, if you let me touch these things, Joe will curse you to your face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What frustrated the devil about Job is what frustrated the devil about many of you, is that he has attacked you in so many different areas, but he still have, hasn't got your praise. He, he still got you, he still, hadn't, he still hadn't got your praise. Do anybody have a celebration for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that, that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations give thanks unto the Lord for he is good let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy he gathered them from the lands from the east west north and south they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way and found no city to dwell in hunger and thirsty their souls fainted in them and then they heard it they cried unto the Lord in the time of trouble and he delivered them out of their distress. Here it is right here. Here it is right All that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Decree that with me. All that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Glory to God. You must understand that the devil is after your commitment. The enemy is after your commitment. The, I'm going to say it again. Mm -hmm. For the ones on the front row, for the ones in the middle row, for the ones in the back row, for the ones in the back row, the enemy is after your commitment. If you could ever see that. See, sometimes we can have blind spots. Mm -hmm. And that's why we got to hook up with people who have our back, who have our best interest to help us pull out, pull us out and then show us some blind spots that we're not able to see. Y'all don't want to say nothing. Y'all don't want to say mm -hmm. Glory to God. Huh? See? The devil told God, if you just let me touch these things, Job will curse you to your face. What frustrated the devil about Job is what, what frustrates the devil about many of you is that he has attacked you in so many different ways, but you still got to praise. You still got to praise. Hmm? Every time you praise him, the devil does the moonwalk. Y'all ain't going to talk. Every time you praise him, the devil moves back backwards every time you praise him you magnify god and mind the devil where he's going every time you praise him glory to god you manifest the line somebody say roar line roar every time you praise him the devil throws a tantrum because because he messed up with everything he could he messed with everything he could but the devil couldn't get your get what he wanted it was your commitment Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. He couldn't get your commitment. And I say this all the time. I, I say this all the time. Oh, I look, it's not up here. The cross. The cross is vertical 
and the cross is horizontal. But the, but the saints in the 21st century, we want to have this deep relationship, awesome relationship with God. Come here, y'all, come here. Awesome relationship with God, vertical, but don't want to deal with nobody horizontal. Y'all ain't saying that. You can't have this deep relationship with God and you don't want to deal with his people on a horizontal level. So that's why you got to be always mindful. Glory to God. It ain't about you. It ain't about me. It's about him. That's what discipleship is about. It's how you serve one another and serve others because you are a follower of the king. Huh? Hmm? So in this in, Joe, in uh, Judges, the sixth chapter, here's this one man in Israel, and his name is Gideon. The Bible says, so, the Bible says uh, uh, somehow he's taking some wheat because he knows the Midianites wants to steal it. Do you understand? We, we, he, he, Gideon has taken some wheat because he knows the Midianites wants to steal it. And he goes somewhere, uh, 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 what they call the, the wine press, and he's threshing the wheat in the wine press, trying to hide it from the Midianites. And in 6 and 12, the Lord, the Bible said, the Lord appeared to him. Somebody said, the Lord appeared to him. Mm. He, watch me now. He's threshing wheat in a wine press and he's hiding. Okay, y'all still didn't get it. I'm going to say it again. He's threshing wheat in a wine press and he's hiding. Mm -hmm. He's threshing wheat in a wine press and he's hiding wheat. He's threshing wheat and he's hiding. Watch well, it. He's behaving in the way of, of the exact opposite of what God calls him. Boy, y'all, if y'all like the Bible and can read it. And the Lord appeared, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, Lord, the Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Mighty man of valor is hiding. <laughs> He's behaving in the way of the exact opposite of what God calls him. Either his behavior is lying or God is lying. And we know that God is not a man that he should lie. You are not what you did. Watch it. I want to encourage you. You are not what you did. You are not what you, you are doing. Just because you've been that way doesn't mean that's the way you are called to be. I was, ooh. Watch this. When God calls you something, grace is released to become what he calls you to be. Ooh, glory to God. When God calls you something, grace is released to become what he called you to be. In Romans 4 and 17, the last part, it said, Even God, who quickened the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Hmm? He was talking to Abraham. So I don't care who you are when he meets you. Grace is released on you to become what he called you to be. He called you blessed. He called you favored. He called you anointed. He called you chosen. He called you the beloved. He called you selected. He called you anointed. And when he speaks it over you, is when he speaks it over you, grace is released for you to become it. When he speaks it over you, grace is released that you become it. Watch, watch what Gideon say. If the Lord is with us, why is all this happening? Now, God just called him a mighty man of valor. He said, if the Lord is with us, why is all this happening? Mm -hmm. Because, watch this, he assumes. Mm. He assumes. One of the things that will get you in trouble more than anything is having assuming, assumption. The devil will plant assumption in your mind and you ain't got no facts. Come here. Come here. That's why Judge Judy, the hardest judge in the land. You ain't got no papers. You ain't got no evidence. I don't want to hear. Well, you know, my, no, where's the evidence? Where's the paperwork? They think she mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she can't get a rule a little bit sometimes, but she, well, I said, she keeps her courtroom in order. You can't come in and, and bamboozle her courtroom. You can't come in and take over glory God, like you running something. Mm -hmm. 
You come in her courtroom, you better have every T crossed and every I dotted. Because she's going to tell you that you out of order. She's going to tell you you ain't got no structure. She's going to tell you you just assuming. Well, my friend said he hit my car. Where, where, where your friend at? Well, they moved back to California. You ain't got no evidence. Assumption. Assumption is, is assuming something, uh, uh, assuming that God is, uh, uh, God is going to perform in a certain way. In other words, if, in other words, God, if you're not doing it the way I think you should be doing it, then you don't, you're not with me. That's what Gideon was saying, because you're not doing it my way. Mm. That's why the Bible says there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Our theme in the theological school this year is order. Don't you know you can do the right thing and still be out of order? That's why we got to always examine ourselves. Someone said, we all fall down, but we get up. But, we, but when you get up, be get up changed. When you get up, be get up changed. When you get up, get up changed. When you get up, get up changed. When you get up, get up with a new mindset. He said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hmm? What's it? God is saying, I'm with you. That's what he was saying to, uh, saying to uh, Gideon. But what's what? I talked to this a couple of weeks ago. He said, but God, how many know that God is an intentional God? If I'm, why well, said, but he said, if I'm something, I am a God of intention. If I'm doing, why well, said, and a God of intention is if I'm doing nothing, that's intentional. I'm always doing something. If I'm doing nothing on purpose, that means I'm doing something. So praise me, praise God, when, when I'm doing something, and praise me, praise God, when I'm doing nothing because I'm doing something then too. You get that Saturday. Mm -hmm. So when we think God didn't answer our prayer, glory to God. When we think in, in our mind that God didn't answer our prayer, glory to God, and then when, and we don't get what we said we wanted, because we, we came out of this thing in the 80s, name it and claim it and blab it and grab it. That don't even, that's not even, that's not Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah, watch this, watch this. See, so sometimes you all will praise God, glory to God, for that prayer that didn't get answered. Because he gave... Can you look back over your life when you wanted God to answer that prayer? But now you say, Lord, I thank you for doing nothing. I thank you for doing nothing. But the Lord really did something. Can I get about, can I get nine folk and I'll make number 10 for God, for that, that prayer that God didn't answer. You know what you prayed. You know what you wanted. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm going to say it like this. Lord, thank you so much. And somebody said, Lord, thank me. Thank you. I, Lord said, Lord, I thank you so much for him breaking up with me. Lord, thank you so much for her breaking up with me. I thought I wanted that. Y'all don't want to talk. <laughs> I even prayed for it. So God is saying to Gideon, I want to use you, the very thing you are complaining about, I want to use it to fix it. That's what he's saying. The very thing you complaining about, God told Gideon, I want to use it to use you to fix it. The problem you are complaining about is the reason for your existence. I'm the pole in my family. We pole. He said, we pole. I'm the least. I'm the black sheep. And God said, but you're a mighty man of valor. <laughs> God. Oh. Uh, that's why you hear. Purpose is the problem you are created to solve. Purpose is the problem that you are created to solve. While you are complaining about the miracle I haven't done yet. Hmm. You're missing the miracle. You're missing the miracle. I have done because you are, you, you, are comp uh, you are alive to complaining. You are missing the, 
you are missing the miracle I have already done because you too busy complaining. Watch this. I'm going to show you in the Bible. Seven years, if you know the Bible, seven years these Midianites been attacking y'all and you still here after attack after attack, but you still here. Uh, we're in the midst of a pandemic and people have died. Lord bless their heart. Glory to God. But you're still here. Had some ups and downs, almost went crazy, but you're still here. Didn't know if you were coming or going, but you're still here. The angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord covered you and had you in, but you're still here. Some folk will come in the house of God like God owed them something. Mm -hmm. I say you're still here. You're complaining about a miracle you hadn't seen, but you're missing the miracle you already are. You're complaining about the miracle that you hadn't seen, but you're missing the miracle that you already are. Don't doubt I'm a miracle worker, but if you look where you are and what you survive is evidence of my miracle working power and my ability in you. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So I said, I got some dunamis on the inside of me. I got some Holy Ghost power. I got some power. I got some anointed power. I got some power from up on high. And it ain't Black Lives Matter power. It ain't soul power. It ain't white power. It's the Holy Ghost power. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. And don't use your power for being bougie. Don't use the power thank you more than. Don't use your power in a condescending way. Use your power to help somebody. Use your power to bring somebody else up out of it. Look at let me finish this. Let me finish this. In 6 and 15. In 6 and uh, 15. Well, says the B part. He said, look at what Gideon says. He said, my family is poor. And I'm the least in my father's house. Watch me now. God is calling Gideon to carry out a new role. In a new season. I'm trying to help us, y'all. Mm. God is calling Gideon to carry out a new role in a new season of his life. And Gideon, Gideon's, watch me now, Gideon's inadequacies responds. I'm going to say that again real slow. God called Gideon a mighty man of valor. Glory to God. God called Gideon a mighty man of value, and Gideon responds with his inadequacies. Lack, deficiency, insufficient. His, inadequ his inadequacies responds to the call. The question uh, you said about yourself and your family, uh, uh, who, you, you, the question uh, you said about yourself and your family, who told you that? Who told you that? Your perception of yourself, Gideon, is getting in the way of your purpose. I wish y'all had a church. Uh, you, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Your, your low self-esteem. Glory to God. That's why you got to know that you saved for real. One thing about this gospel, one thing about God, he puts everybody on an equal playing field. Mm. Glory to God. Where you had your head hung down, glory to God, he'll tell you lift up your eyes unto the hills. You got to understand, you got to understand that we see to the corner, but God can see around the corner. You got to understand we can see to the hill, but God can see around the hill. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Glory to God. God will have you to lift up your eyes unto the hill. He'll call you chosen. He'll call you royal. He'll call you unique. He'll call you a, a chosen generation. He'll call you sanctified. He'll call you one. Wonderful. He'll call you the apple of his eye. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You don't know who you are? <laughs> My God. 
Mm -hmm. Gideon is getting in the way of your purpose. Getting, God said, getting, you're getting in the way of your own purpose. See, you survived, watch me now. See, you survived these seven, seven years, but you lost you. You survived these seven years, but you lost you. So when the lion should be showing up, the lamb is talking. By this time, all the things that Gideon saw, the lion should be talking. You can stay in that survival mode for so long and lose you. Mm -hmm. Thank God for people, you know, the, the, the lady or that started, uh, what, mad alcohol? Uh, what's that? Yeah, again, stroke, yeah, that's good. And then a lot of times when people survive something, they they feel and they have an unction to help in that area. That's nothing wrong. That's great. But when you know God, that's not your definitely not your purpose in life. It can. Oh, this is getting this is tight right here. This is tight. See, we can get hung up on our experiences. I'm a, ooh, it ain't that. You can get hung up on your survival experiences and then make what you survived out of, it becomes your life lot. And you don't have God in the midst. Y'all ain't gonna sing. You won't have God in the midst. He won't be first. That's not an absolute, but I'm just bringing it out for food for thought. So don't survive something and glory God, and let that be who you are. That becomes your purpose and forget about you call that you, you, your holy nation, your royal priesthood. You're called out of darkness to do the do kingdom duty. In other words, in other words, a king lives on the inside of you. Dominion of the king is being expressed through you and out of you by faith. Mm -hmm. But you so busy down the, okay. You got to, we got to, you got to, you got to, you so busy, thank God. So, because people don't take me wrong all the time. That's why you know you're a disciple because you get misunderstood all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank God for habitat, for society. Uh, but he ain't gonna have you building houses all day. And, and... Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all don't wanna talk. And you never give God the praise. Not saying you're not giving God the praise when you're building houses, but you can get so wrapped up in your experience and make your experience about you and not about him. Am I talking good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's this? See, because some things, Gideon, because something, Gideon, all these years, stripped you of your fight. Gideon was stripped of his fire. His perception of himself was about to get in the way of his purpose. God wants, wants to set Israel free, but their deliverance is delayed because he's trying to talk to God. He's trying, he, he's trying to talk God, Gideon, out of his inadequacies. Come here. How many people in your life, their deliverance is delayed? Their deliverance is delayed because you offended, because you mad, because you frustrated. Y'all ain't saying that. Nobody ever like that. See, see, you got to always understand, glory to God, glory to God, somebody is dependent on you. And it's more than your family, too. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to always fight. When opposition come to keep your systems f clean so they can flow because you don't know who you might have. To. God use you as a deliverer. He can't use you to deliver your head hanging down. Mm -hmm. He can't use you to deliver you all frustrated all the time, mad all the time, offended all the time. Y'all don't want to talk now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why when we come in the house of the Lord, I've been saying it for years, you don't know who coming through these doors that need hope, help, and healing. 
Hmm? You don't know. That's what we're here to do, to release the power and the anointing of God in the building, out of the building, everywhere we go. We was in, uh, what was that, uh, Cracker Barrel uh, uh, a couple of days ago. And not our waitress, the woman that worked at the cashier, came all around after we sit down. She said, can I give you a word? I said, speak, Lord. Lord, I don't even know you. She said, but this is a time of rest. He said, she said, God got this. Thank you, Lord. That's here right there with me. Mm -hmm. She wasn't talking. She said, she said, this is a time of rest. Don't work. God got this. Y'all ain't saying nothing. God got this. Mm -hmm. See, but when you so stuck on your, oh, she's just a cashier. She ain't got no word for me. You ain't saying nothing. She ain't got no word for me. I'm the prophet. I'm the apostle. I'm doctor. Uh-huh. Mm. That's why we miss. That's, oh, that's why we miss some increases because we, it don't come in the package that we want. Oh, it don't come in the package that we think it should come in. And we can miss it. <laughs> What's this? Israel is waiting on a deliverer and God has to volley back and forth with Gideon. Because you cannot accomplish your assignment trapped in your inadequacies. Mm. God is trying to talk Gideon out of an identity that has been formed in his past. God, oh. God is trying to talk Gideon out of an identity that has been formed in his past. It had become a prison. Israel's deliverance was tied to Gideon's self-esteem. One, two, one, two, three. Welcome to the night. Thank you for tuning in to the Times of Refreshing broadcast with Chief Apostle Robert L. Alexander Jr. He is the pastor of Breath of Life Fellowship Church located in Austin, Texas. You can follow Apostle and his ministry on social media through Facebook, YouTube, and his website, bolfconline.org. Please pray about giving to the Times of Refreshing broadcast as Apostle continues to share the gospel with the world. Lastly, tune in to the broadcast every Friday at 4.30 p.m. right here on the Now Network. Thanks again for watching the Times of Refreshing broadcast. The place of